Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing and first look at the Seagate GoFlex Satellite Mobile Wireless Hard Drive. So this is a portable hard drive that is 500 gigs in capacity, and it'll allow up to eight different wireless devices to connect to it simultaneously. Originally designed for devices like the iPad, where clearly storage expansion is out of the question, and Seagate, I give a lot of credit for being wise enough to recognize that there's a market for that, because quite frankly, I've always wanted a wireless storage device like this, something portable. Frankly, I'm a little disappointed that it took a device like the iPad to make it happen, but nonetheless, I'm glad that it did, because hopefully, you know, this market will mature. Unfortunately, this product's been out on the market for quite a while, and it's still the only of its kind. Uh, Kingston does have Wii drives or Y drives, and those are flash drives, which range in 16, 32, and 64 gig capacities, and they are far more expensive than this 500 gig drive, which of course is not solid state. It is a traditional portable hard drive that's USB 3.0, uh, of course, three-year warranty you see there, but uh, the price point really, if you're looking for, if you're a power user, want the storage and want to do what's priced competitively as well as has more mature software, that's what this one, uh, in my opinion, represents Seagate, a little bit of a better brand, uh, clearly, than Kingston, a larger company, I should say, not really a better brand. Uh, they certainly have a lot more leverage. So. Uh, before I actually open up the box, let's just go over some of the packaging here because it'll give you guys an idea of what it really encompasses. So, uh, first of all, they're telling you that you, of course, have backwards compa uh, compatibility to USB 2.0, which uh, isn't surprising. So, even though this is a 3.0 drive, uh, don't have to worry if you don't have a 3.0 uh, capable port. Uh, five hours of battery life, because after all, this is a mobile wireless device. It will need to be charged, so it'll be interesting to see if it lives up to that claim. And then in terms of enjoying it, which, uh, yeah, I hope I do, you can see it basically shows you that there are free apps in order to use this with your wireless devices to share all of your media. And that's the, the big draw for me, um, is that you're really looking at a device here where with NTFS formatting, you could have full HD movies on here, even if that's something you've shot uh, with your high-end uh, NEX camera, whatever it may be, and not worry about the file size limitations, even though Android, forget about iOS, even though Android does not support uh, natively NTFS, the fact that this drive does, and there's an app that will let you play back video from it, you guys see where I'm going, you'll be able to watch anything you want and not be limited. Now, the bit rate and Wi-Fi being a little bit of a bottleneck, it'll be interesting to see if it works out. Generally, a very good Wi-Fi chipset won't have an issue with the bottleneck, but I'm not sure how good the Wi-Fi chipset is on this drive, so that'll be part of the experience. And then in terms of what comes inside the box, we've got the GoFlex satellite drive, of course. Uh, the 3.0 uh, USB cable, your wall adapter, compact car charger, nice that they throw that in, a uh, DC cable, of course, in order to charge the device, the USB to DC, I should say, quick start guide, and the limited warranty. And I did uh, also point out before, the warranty is rated at three years, which is pretty good. Uh, a lot of drives these days are only two, especially external portable, since they do die. Uh, not, I'm not trying to apply frequently, but uh, you know they do know the turnover rate on these things. Now, in terms of system requirements, they're basically telling you iPad, yes, we know this, uh, but the good news is there is an application for Android, which is why I have this, guys. Really picked it up to use with the Nexus 10, because as you all know, or some of you don't, the Nexus 10 does not support uh, storage expansion, which most Android tablets and phones do, but the Nexus lineup uh, does not. And also, there is a trend now to lean more on the cloud for all devices, all manufacturers, all mobile OSs, uh, but Android still, for the most part, does offer storage expansion. But I kind of saw this as a win-win, especially since it did take a price drop. I will be throwing a uh, link in there for you guys in case you want to pick one of these up. They've been going now for $99.99, which is about half of the price they originally launched for over a year ago. Uh, so that pretty much sums it up. It tells you some of the video formats it supports, but that's already changed also from the actual application, which I'll get to spend time with. But all right, you guys have listened to five minutes uh, of me basically just explaining what we're getting. Let's get down to business. Uh, and I'm pretty excited because like I said, this is a market that 
unfortunately, in my opinion, just has not been taken advantage of at all. Kingston's products are a little more unique in this because in terms of their form factor, they are much, much smaller than this because this is, uh, I would say, a little bit sm uh, larger than a traditional portable hard drive. I also would have liked to have seen a larger uh, storage capacity out of this. Here's our quick start guide. A larger storage capacity would have been nice. This is still the first generation though, so I imagine we will see one. By the way, the uh, docking port uh, for giving you all different connection types, something you'll find with all Seagate uh, portable external drives. So that's another benefit of having this as opposed to the Kingston wireless uh, flash devices that are out there. Also the eight simultaneous users, uh, that's something the Kingston does not offer. I believe it's limited to three. There's your uh, limited warranty, as I mentioned before. And let's get to actually opening this up. Hopefully it's um, frustration-free, let's just say. Uh, it doesn't look complicated, so it shouldn't be, but I don't want to explode things here in the process. So yeah, there we go. It's not, I don't think it's too bad. There we have it. Didn't want to sling a hard drive out of here and end up with uh, a broken drive before I get to even test it for you guys. Uh, but there we have it. Pretty much the sta you know standard size. It, it's really just a little bit larger. Let me go ahead and get it out of the plastic. And they're telling you right out of the gate we're here to help. And hopefully they are because Seagate isn't my favorite manufacturer. As you guys know, I'm a little bit partial to Western Digital. And that's not to say that Seagate doesn't make good drives. They do. Their reputation has changed over the years, but I still have fairly good luck with them across the board, so I really have nothing negative to say about Seagate, uh, but everyone's partial to their own brands. In my opinion, in this case, I'm very much partial to Seagate because they're the only ones who've made such an innovative product. Now, this has gotten really mixed reviews since it came out, but that's another reason I picked it up now. The software has matured considerably, and with that, I believe we're going to get a much better experience now. So. Uh, for those of you who bought this uh, a year or more ago, thank you for testing it uh, and helping hopefully Seagate make this better. And I'll give you guys some examples how in a moment. But there is the power button, not that that needs much uh, explaining. Nothing else really around the body. Uh, you've also got your charging port right there, your DC in. And that's pretty much it. Uh, on the top back of the drive or front, uh, I'm not sure which this is, you've got your wireless notification as just LED for uh, hard drive activity. And that's pretty much it. You know, that piano gloss uh, finish, which is nice. And really just a nice, uh, you know, a, a pretty nice looking drive. Nothing bad to say about it. The fact that it's wireless is just like a, a fabulous add-on, I have to say. And now that it's priced relatively well at $100, if you get it at that price, it's very competitive because a single terabyte portable USB 3.0 drive goes for right now on sale around 70 bucks, 80 bucks. So even though this is half the amount of storage, I think a lot of you would benefit from the wireless considering all of the mobile products in our lives. Here's that uh, smart docking uh, tray, as I mentioned before, that hooks up to the back so that you can pretty much use any type of connection you need, whether it's the USB 3.0 one we have here or um, you know I, they have an adapter for Firewire, all sorts of different adapters. Um, here we've got our USB power cable. And then here's the car adapter, which is pretty much self-explanatory. You know, you're on a road trip, everybody's in the car, whether you've got the whole family or just some friends, and you want everyone to be able to share the content you have because these days everyone has their own tablet, computer, or at the very least smartphone that has Wi-Fi or even just media player, Galaxy player, or touch. And now they'll be able to access all of, their con all of your content, I should say, from you know music, movies, whatever it may be, uh, books right there on your 500 gigs. And then of course, this is our uh, wall charger, which works with the included USB cable that I just showed you guys before hooking up right there. So that pretty much rounds out everything. I don't think there's anything else in this box. Uh, the only other thing I want to mention about this drive, because I was talking about the maturation of its software, uh, is that part of that is that an original flaw of this product was that it could not bridge internet connections. In other words, because this uses uh, Wi-Fi, once you were connected to this device, in order to access uh, your media, you would only be able to access your media. You would not be able to go on the internet you were stuck on that network, meaning the direct connection with this 
uh, Wi-Fi enabled hard drive. They since uh, launch, I think it was maybe three or four months after the product came out, or maybe more, uh, stand corrected. If one of you knows, uh, please let me know. Not that it is really that important, because the fact of the matter is they fixed that. And there is now a bridge capability. And as a result, you no longer have the issue of not being able to be online uh, and still get access to all the content on the drive. So I think that's really important because that was one advantage the Kingston had over this, which it no longer does. So right now, everything pretty much in this favor, greater battery life than the Kingston, uh, more simultaneous connections, uh, obviously much larger storage capacity, although it's not solid state, so it's more prone to failure than flash. Uh, storage, but overall really like what this drive represents. Look forward to spending time with it and giving you guys full impressions on whether or not it is your solution to the ever-growing, uh, very slim or meager, I should say, storage capacity options we get now with all of these high-end smartphones and tablets. Uh, and it's also suitable for computers, of course, and home networks uh, for home theater PCs, things like that. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.